Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Kind of Corso. Sorry, I've been MIA lately. Um, I've been really, really tired and busy. <sighs> Excuse me, it's really early. It's like 5.30 in the morning. Um, we're getting up to take three dogs. We're taking Mad Mortigan, Belladonna, and Trinity in to get their pen hip testing done. Um, now I will say that I, when Belladonna was six months old, I actually took her into the vet and I had her hips looked at. So I already have a good idea of what Belladonna's hips look like. Um, so I'm not at all worried about her. It's just getting the official scoring done. And then we're also doing the OFA prelims on the hips and elbows. Um, I have had a lot of people asking about Pascal, wanting an update on him. So I figured that I would do one real quick while we're um, letting all the dogs out. It's my knees, hey baby. While we're letting all the dogs out. Hey there, sugar butt. Would you cutie patootie? Would you cutie patootie? He's so adorable. Um, hey there, biggin. Hey there, biggin. Um, quite the character. We spend a lot of time with him. Um, pretty boy. Are you a pretty boy? Did you just go pee pees? Um, but yeah, he's he's doing really good. Um, for those that are curious. Um, as you can see, he's quite playful. Are you quite playful? Are you quite playful? Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, he's angry. He's angry. He says, I'm going to bite you. I'm going to bite you. I'm going to bite you. He's got his teeth. Oh, yeah, he's got, he's got puppy teeth in now. You going to bite me? You going to bite me, Pascal? You going to bite me, Pascal? Hmm? You gonna bite me? You gonna bite me? Got your paw. He spends too much time. I got your paw. Cause he doesn't have any siblings. So. I got your paw. That's all he does. You guys be quiet. So pre preacher, be quiet. Quit barking. Batista, walk away now. Batista, go away. They're like brothers teasing. They're great. So um. So Belladonna is in heat right now, as many of you know, and um. And so that has caused some tension between Preacher and Batista, as it always does. Um, Batista wants to come up and kind of just like get in his face and invade his boundaries. Yep. And um, Preacher growls and basically lets him know that he needs to give him some space. So, uh, but yeah, that's adorable for them. <sighs> A lot of people would put them up and keep them separate um i don't um unless it's necessary and right now it's not necessary they just kind of growl at each other and um i d will say i don't ever leave them alone together um so that's that's a different thing like i don't even i don't even like if i'm gardening outside i don't even leave them alone with savannah hi there um good morning enzo oh my god i had a dream the Enzo talked last night, too. That was pretty cool. I had horrible nightmares last night. I tried to go to bed early to make sure that I wouldn't be too tired. Because I had to wake up really early the day before. But, anyway, um, I just ended up with weird nightmares. So, but... That's what always happens. But that was a good thing. Was that the was that Enzo um, was talking in my dreams, which is pretty cool. So, anyway... Um, oh goodness, you're so cute. You're so cute, Pascal. Oh, sugar butt. Sugar butt. He doesn't want love. He just, he just wants to. He just wants to be a baby. He's such a big old baby. You want me to put you back down? I'll put you back down. Hmm. So he's officially three weeks now. Cutie, Pascal. Go to Mama. Pascal. Hey, Pascal. What are you doing? Hey there, cutie. Oh, your baby. 
Here's your baby. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, sugar. What's with your sugar? I started pooping and peeing on his own, too. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. You scratch your ear for you? crying in the middle of the night. So yeah, yeah. I have to pick up and then yeah. from where I'm so And then... And your sugar. Oh, hi. Enzo, are you laughing at us? He laughs, you guys. Are you laughing at us, Enzo? <laughs> Pascal. <laughs> Pascal. What's the matter? What's the matter, huh? Oh, sugar. <laughs> Looks like he has his mama's head. Let's see. Is that you, Velocity? Come on in. Yeah, She's like, I hear him crying. Come here. Velocity. Go on. Go check on your baby. He plays with her. It's so funny. Yeah, he gets so excited. Um. So anyway, she has been trying to wean him. Um, Which, I've told people before that all my females, they do start to try to wean in around three weeks. So I have started giving him, um, I have started giving him some, um, of the Farmina wet food and, um, he loves that. So, His is so fishy oh yeah, it smells so bad. Cause that, cause the Farmina has a lot of herring in it. It's really good though. Oh, he's going to bite her. He's going to bite her. He yeah. does that all the time. He just bites her. Yeah. And she's like, son, I'm not trying to play with you right now. Mm-hmm. So anyway, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update um, on what was going on with him because I had a lot of people asking. He's absolutely massive. Um, I have not had any opportunity. Well, he's way too young yet to be looking at his structure. It's so funny because I was like, I was like <laughs> trying to and I was like, Reese, I was like his regulation and Reese was like, Rachel, like, stop looking at that dog. <laughs> So he's still like a bean. Oh yeah, he's a little bean. He's a little baby bean. A big bean. Baby um, bean. He's not ready to be evaluated. Yeah, he's not at all ready to be evaluated. So I need to just chill out. Mom is like Gordon Ramsay before the food's even cooked. Yeah, yeah. How oh, so. dare you? The meat is raw. It's not even cooked yet. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but anyway, but I am slightly because I. It's so hard not to get bonded to him. You know what I mean? Um, it's so hard. We spend so much time with him. I mean, I guess the thing is, we are bonded. There's no, like, there's no question about that. We are bonded. Um, it just makes it harder to do the right thing if, in fact, he doesn't end up being a breed quality dog. You know what I mean? Like, it, it makes it harder to let them go when that's the case. Isn't it such a mess um, with his food and his toys? Like that and so, are you making a mess in there? Are you making a mess? Not even, there's more cardboard and food in here than poop. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Hey there. Um, will you make me a coffee? Yeah. Thank you. Hi. So anyway, we got we to gotta get ready. Um, we have a long drive ahead of us. Whenever I go and get my dog's hip testing done, it's, you, it's a two-hour drive for me there, and then a two-hour drive back. Is it a small town? Yeah. Oh, it's really small. Oh, there's nothing in small towns. Yeah, it's so small. Yeah, there's like literally nothing to do. Just so to, like, I used off. to, what I used to do is like try to find something to do in the area, but um, it's just a waste. It's an absolute waste. Um, and so mm, now I just drive home. <laughs> I just drive home, hang out. What are you doing until? Home and then you drive all the way back? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's literally eight hours of driving in a day. And like they That's the that's the level of dedication we have to get this stuff done. There are places closer that would just do OFA, but I don't I don't like OFA. I don't believe in it. I think I think that OFA you could literally go to your vet and have him take an X ray of your dog's hips and that's as good as OFA. You could literally take that X ray and you could post it up on the OFA groups on Facebook and ask for opinions. And that would be as good as OFA. There are even people that um, work for vets that um, they grade. And typically, they'll make a game of it. People will post their 
their x-rays and then ask people what their opinions are and you can actually find out what the results are later so these people are actually very accurate only time there's a discrepancy is when it's a particular breed that um, for example the miniature breeds often have really bad hips anyway um, and so and so you can't judge their hips against like other dogs or even like St. Bernard's things like that a lot of those dogs have really bad hips and so for them, like, you know, a, a, what, what looks to be a really bad hip in any other breed, like for us, would actually be passing for them. So that's the only type of weird discrepancy that you'll see. But other than that, um, you know, they're very accurate. And so pen hip is the only thing that, to me, is worth the money of testing for. Now, granted, we do OFA, but that's because it's literally a filing fee because pen hip requires the same x-rays um, as OFA does and more. And then um, because their testing requires more, but they do still need that same view. And then of course we go ahead and just get the elbows done too since they're already sedated. So, um, so anyway, so we do it just because it's like literally like 30 bucks more and like why not? But, um, but personally, like I said, I, I don't believe in just getting your dog sedated just for that. I would much rather use OFA and I will continue to drive and travel wherever I need to to get pen hip testing on my dogs because I believe in it that much. So anyway, um, hope you guys are having a good day and um, hope you enjoyed this little moment with Pascal. I know that it isn't the best quality in video right now, but that's because it's kind of dark in my room. I put on all the lights, but whatever. It is the way it is. So I hope you guys are having a good day, and I'll talk at you later. Bye.